our investment case that uniquely positions us for the future. It's broken up into four areas. One, we provide the commodity solutions that supports the journey to net zero. And how we do this is through production, recycling, sourcing, marketing and distribution, which is absolutely unique within our business and it's not something any of our competitors can provide. The second leg is our asset portfolio, which is really focused on larger, high margin and longer life operations. Thirdly, our marketing business also includes a carbon and power strategy. These provide a carbon solution to the commodity supply chain. It's an absolute unique solution to our customers that no one else in our business can provide. And lastly, we are both commodity and geographically diverse. We produce, we market, and we recycle, all leading to a very resilient and cash generative business. Our strategy is absolutely clear, and it's aligned to the future of a decarbonized world. We are Paris aligned to a one and a half degree pathway. We produce, we recycle, we market all the materials needed to decarbonize energy. We produce green metals, and at the same time, we focus on reducing our own environmental footprint. We also recognize that the energy transition certainly isn't linear through time, nor is it linear through geography. And therefore, our responsible decline of our coal portfolios certainly mirrors that. It ensures critical regional energy needs are met as the world decarbonizes. So to explain our journey a little more and to achieve our carbon emission reduction commitments, we follow seven different pathways. First, we manage our operational footprints, and that's a focus on our scope one and two emissions. The second part is a reduction of our scope three emissions, and we have a unique capability to reduce these scope three emissions by responsibly running down our coal business. As you know, we've set a short-term target of 15% reduction of scope one, two, and three emissions by 2026, a 50% reduction by 2035, and a net zero ambition by 2050. This is a Paris-aligned one-and-a-half-degree scenario commitment, and it is unique, as I said, within the industry. The third pathway is prioritizing capital for our, for our transition metals. So our capital investment is focused on what we call the green metals, the future-facing metals, copper, cobalt, nickel, and zinc. And all CAPEX, most CAPEX is directed towards these, these entities. CAPEX that's committed to our energy portfolio is directed to ensure safe and efficient and ultimately well-rehabilitated operations as we run down the coal portfolio. The fourth pathway is a collaboration with our supply chains, and we work in partnership with our customers and supply chains to ensure greater use of low-carbon metals. We have long-term supply arrangements for the likes of green aluminum, for cobalt, uh, with partners like Fryer and British Vault. These are key in our drive to ensure our supply chain remains the leading decarbonized supply chain in the industry. The fifth pathway is supporting the uptake of int and the integration of abatement. As we know, the IEA has said all technologies need to be used in the drive to decarbonize the world, and one of those is abatement of carbon emissions in fossil fuels. With our partners in China 1A, we are developing the CTSCO project in Australia, which is uh, associated with the Milmerum power station where we are building a pilot plant to capture carbon and sequestrate it. The sixth pathway is, is around a really large and grow, a growing part of our business, which is our recycling business. And that feeds into the circular economy that we subscribe to in this company. We are one of the world's largest recyclers of end-of-life electronics, batteries, and battery metals. And it's a part of our business that is growing every day. And the last pathway is taking a transparent approach. We report on our progress and we report on our performance. And we're very glad that 94% of our shareholders approved our climate change strategy we put to them at our AGM earlier this year.